10,000 calorie challenge guys, 10,000 calories in a single day. I am pumped, but I am so nervous. But let's get right to it. First off, we're picking up some donuts. Can I get a dozen of your most stacked donuts? Just a variety. Take a look at these donuts. First of all, Sublime Donuts. I've heard these are the best donuts in the area. Take a look at these. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. I cannot wait to start diving into these. But of course, that is not the only stop we're making right now. We got a load up on these calories. So the next stop is McDonald's, baby. You know we can't do this challenge without good old Mickey D's. So let's see, what are we gonna get here? Mm, I don't know, but we're gonna load up. Hey, uh, can I do a, a spicy crispy chicken sandwich meal with a Coke and then also a regular crispy chicken sandwich and then a uh, McFlurry? Anything else for you? That's it, thanks. All right, so it's gonna be 18 11. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I know McFlurry coming up too. Thank you very much. All right, let's head back to my apartment and uh, get to work. All right, so here's the deal. It's currently 8.22 p.m. on Saturday, June 18. I am holding off on this food until precisely 12.01 the next day. So, you know, a little less than four hours from now on Sunday, June 19th. And on Sunday, June 19th is when I'm going to do this 10,000 calorie challenge. I'm getting a really good head start starting at midnight. So 12.01, we're gonna start out with this McDonald's, top it off with a donut because why not? As well as my McFlurry, which is here waiting for me in the freezer. So let this challenge begin. I am super excited. I am super scared. I've never had anywhere close to this amount of calories in a day, but uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Let's go. It is officially go time. It is midnight on Sunday, June 19th now. Let's go, first meal. Got this McDonald's, gonna top it off with a donut, and like I said, my McFlurry is in the freezer. At the end of each meal, I'm gonna put on the screen the total calories, and I'm gonna keep a calorie count in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen throughout this video. With that being said, let's go. All these donuts look so good. I don't know which one to start out with. Maybe this one here. Looks like a, like a chocolate hazelnut of some sort. Let's try it out. Oh my God, it's peanut butter. Peanut butter in there. Chocolate peanut butter and hazelnut, I think. That's so good. So for all these donuts, uh, they got the shop, didn't know how many calories are in each donut. I think some of these are about 200, some of these are about 400. The ones that are fully loaded are, are really packing on the calories. So let's average out to 300 uh, times 12 for a dozen. That's 3,600 calories in this box alone. So for the sake of easy math, uh, let's say 300 a donut. So this one will be 300 more. All right, update. Uh, I just finished two McDonald's sandwiches, about a third of the fries because I made a mistake of buying the fries uh, four hours ahead of time. The fries go bad so easily, so quickly. It just tasted friggin' terrible. So I ate a third of the fries, I had one donut, and had half the McFlurry. I'm on the McDonald's website right now looking at the calories. So the crispy chicken sandwich was 470. The spicy crispy chicken sandwich was 530. Add those together, that's a thousand already. A medium fries is 320. So divide by three, that's like 106.7 or something like that. Uh, so round it down to 100. So right now I'm at 1100. Plus a donut, like I said, average of 300. So 1100 plus 300 comes out to 1400 plus half a McFlurry. A uh, full Oreo McFlurry is 510 divided by two. That's 255. So 1400 plus 255 comes out to 1655 calories right before bedtime. Great start to the challenge so far. Already 16.55 calories, not even one hour into the day yet. It is 12.59 in the morning. So I'm gonna catch some sleep and I will see you guys very shortly. All right, it's about 9.30 the next morning. Feeling good, feeling refreshed. Getting ready to crush more of these donuts here. I probably look like a, a fatty just sitting out on my balcony eating a box of donuts, but gotta do what you gotta do. Let's start out with the, uh, let's see here. This one looks pretty good. I think this is crushed Oreo on top of, uh, I think that's uh, like a chocolate glaze underneath that crushed Oreo. So let's try this one out. That is super good. I give that one like an eight out of 10. All right, let's crush a few of these.
three donuts down the hatch. Um, my stomach's starting to get a little full, but it's not too bad yet. As you can see, there's eight donuts left in here. I'm gonna top my breakfast off with a 100 calorie peanut butter chocolate chip granola bar. Granola bar done, that was 100 calories plus three times 300 calories a donut is another 900 calories. So my total breakfast right now was 1,000 calories added onto the 1655 we had at midnight brings us to this total right here, 2,655 calories and it's only 1027 in the morning. So we have lots of day left. I'm walking over to Subway for lunch right now. It's about an hour and a half or two hours later. Uh, while I wasn't that full, all those donuts were just starting to make my stomach hurt with all the freaking sugar. So I just rested for an hour and a half or two Going to grab some lunch now. I really love their oven roasted chicken sandwich plus all those carbs. Uh, it's not that filling, but it is a lot of calories. So I think it's absolutely perfect for a challenge like this. Also, if you're new to the channel, I live in Midtown Atlanta. So that's what you see around me. Also subscribe if you have not because I drop a new video every single Monday that you definitely don't want to miss. All right, let me grab my sandwich. I'll be right back. All right, I got an oven roasted chicken sandwich with uh, American cheese, also avocado and tomato, black olives and uh, onions, as well as a bag of chips and a gainer shake. I got the sandwich on Italian herbs and cheese bread, which is one of the higher calorie ones. And then this beer is an 8% double IPA from Wild Leap Brewing Company. So this is, I would guess, 300 calories. This is a pretty heavy beer. This bag of chips is 260. And then let me whip out my phone and calculate exactly how much a Subway sandwich is. All right, I added up everything I got. Came out to pretty much exactly like a thousand calories. So a thousand for the sandwich, 260 for the chips. 300 for the beer, that's 1,560 calories. Let's get this down the hatch. Soulful right now, I feel like I'm gonna fall over and pass out. I've already eaten double the amount of calories today that I usually do in a full day, and I'm so full I can't do the, the mental math right now. But the total calories I'm on for the day so far right now it's about two o'clock, two thirty. Be on the screen right now. That is easily double what I normally eat because I'm not a very big person. I don't need that many calories. Usually I'll take in like max, absolute max, 23, 2400 calories a day. And um, that's just what I eat to stay fit. No more than that. So I've definitely gained at least five pounds already. But uh, like I said, it's only like 2.30 right now. We're still not done. We still got plenty of time today to tack on more calories. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go take a nap. Enjoy 10 seconds of drone shots over Midtown Atlanta. I guys just woke up from my nap. I was literally in a food coma. That was probably the best nap I've ever had. Right now it is five o'clock. I did sleep for a while, but I feel a lot better. I feel refreshed. So that means it is time for another donut. This one right here looks amazing. I think these are Kit Kat pieces on top of the donut. So let's give this one a taste test as well. Those are Kit Kat pieces, man. If you are in Atlanta, you gotta try Sublime Donuts. They're putting together some Sublime Donuts. That donut was amazing. That's probably honestly the best one. So that's an extra 300 calories, bringing my total to this. It is now 5.02 p.m., so we have seven hours to go. Let's keep it going. I'm checking out a banana. Let's try to eat at least something healthy today. So this is another 100 calories about, that's what it says on Google, that banana is about 100 calories. So that brings my total to this now. Just did a quick grocery haul. I got a frozen pizza here. I got a bag of Ruffles baked chips. I can put these down easy. These are my favorite chips. This whole bag is about 800 calories. Quick math there. Swedish fish that are 110 calories per five pieces. Easy calories right here. Also two of these protein drinks that are 400 calories each. And then I got vegan ice cream and this whole container is 860 calories. So there's a lot of calories sitting on my passenger seat right here. 
hopefully I can put these down tonight. Uh, right now, I'm not feeling that great. Uh, it just hit me in Kroger here. I'm not feeling that great right now. So <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna go home and try to make some dinner. This is my favorite protein drink of all time. Bolt House Farms Banana Honey Almond Butter Protein Plus has 30 grams of protein in it at 400 calories. I get it at my local Kroger. I assume they have it at other grocery stores as well, but it's super good. So I'm gonna get this down really quick. 400 calories, easy money. It goes down like water. Super, super easy drink. 400 calories, just like that. That puts us at this many calories now. So let's make some dinner. All right, for dinner, we're going with white rice and orange chicken. The white rice is by PF Chains Classic and the orange chicken is by Innovation. Get it, Innovation instead of Innovation. Pretty cool, huh? But anyways, the, I'm gonna cook up one thing of rice in here, which is, as you can see, it is 330 calories. And take a look at this orange chicken uh, nutritional info. So one serving is 310 calories. There's three servings in this bag, and this is the entire bag here. This is all three servings. I can eat this chicken no problem. How this is three servings, I have no idea. So I'm gonna cook up all this 310 a serving times three servings is quick math 930. So 930 plus 330 of rice. Some more quick math, that's 1230 plus 30, that's 1260. 1260 calories for dinner coming right up. That meal was a struggle to get down. I don't know how I got that meal down. Uh, probably just cause I really freaking like orange chicken and white rice. So I got it down, uh, we're not done yet though. So I poured out precisely 22 of these Lay's and then 10 Swedish fish because on the bag, a serving is 11 of these chips. So 11 times two is 22. I have two servings. Each serving is 120 calories. So I have 240 calories here in chips. And then with the Swedish fish is 110 calories per five Swedish fish. I have precisely 10 Swedish fish here. Again, counted them out. So that is 220 calories of Swedish fish plus 240 calories of these chips. 240 plus 220 is 460. So let's get this uh, down the hatch also. As you can see, this is not fun anymore. Um, I'm about to throw up. Uh, I think one more dose of sugar, like another single gram or ounce of sugar, that way you would be seeing that sugar in the toilet. I don't know how it's possible to eat 10,000 calories in a single day. I guess it just takes practice and practice and practice again, just, I don't know, just expanding your stomach and just forcing food down there but oh my god <sighs> anyways uh this is the the coke i got from mcdonald's yesterday um i drank about half of it i'm done drinking it i don't want it anymore on the menu uh medium coke is 210 calories so divided by two add on 105 calories for that drink and then we are sitting at this total amount right now and um I don't know how much I can do, but I'm gonna go work out right now. I just hit a quick lift, burn off some things. It might be the best lift of my life, actually, because of how many freaking carbs I've had today. Uh, so let's go see uh, how that goes. I'll see you in the gym. That workout was really great actually. I feel a lot better after doing that. Hit uh, pretty much every body part. Also, I'm using my phone as a flashlight so if I look like a ghost, that's why otherwise it's pretty dark out here. The whole time I was drinking my second one of these protein smoothies I bought. So I added 400 calories to my total. That is it. That is how much I can do today. I can't do a single calorie more. That's it. I am done. Uh, it's had over 7,200 calories. I'm stunned I even ate that much. That's triple what I usually eat. I did hop on the scale to see how much weight I gained today. I gained five pounds today, but that's okay. It just gives me more motivation to work harder, do more cardio, and work that off moving forward. That is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Bit of a different one. I enjoyed it a lot, even though it was very difficult and I felt sick at one point. I feel a lot better now. So, ended pretty good. With that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop me a thumbs up and subscribe because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. See you next Monday. Thank you.